This video will show solutions to the 2017 VCE Mathematical Methods Written Examination 2, Section B, Question 2. This question concerns a trip on a Ferris wheel that sounds a little bit like the famous London Eye. The height of the capsule of the Ferris wheel is given by the function h of t equals 65 minus 55 cos pi t over 15. Using this function, we can find the maximum and minimum heights of the point P. The minimum height will be equal to 65 minus 55 or 10 meters and the maximum height will be equal to 65 plus 55 a whopping 110 meters above the ground. Part B. The time that Sammy is in the capsule is equal to the period of the function. And the period of the function can be found by computing 2 pi divided by the coefficient of t, which is pi on 15. And this can be simplified to give a period of 30 minutes. Part C. The rate of change of h with respect to t is required. This is the derivative h dash t. I'm going to find an expression for this using my class pad. Now that we have an expression for the rate of change, the question asks us to find the value of t at which the rate is at its maximum. In other words, we need to determine the maximum value of the rate function. Note, this is not the same as calculating the maximum value of the height function, which we found previously in part a. I'm going to do this using the expression generated and the fmax command on my class pad. With functions such as these, it is particularly important to set a start and end value. Given the period of the function is 30 minutes, an appropriate start and end value will be 0 to 30. This gives the time at which the rate is maximised as t equals 15 over 2. Part D. We are now introduced to a boat at point B and an angle theta in the right angle triangle OBC. Given the information about the Ferris wheel, we know that the line OC is 65 metres in length, giving us the tan ratio tan theta equals 65 over 500 and we are asked to find the value of theta in degrees to two decimal places. Using the arctangent command, and remembering to turn our class pad from radians to degrees, gives a value to two decimal places of 7.41 degrees. Part E, the path of the Ferris wheel, is now re-expressed in terms of a new function, the derivative of which can be found on our class pad.
Part F. In this part, we are introduced to a point P2 with coordinates u, v. The gradient of the line BP2 can be found as v minus 0 over u minus 500. Using the expression for the y-coordinate of point P, this becomes square root 3025 minus u squared plus 65, take 0, over u minus 500. As we are told in the question that the line through B and P2 is tangent to the, to the path of P, then this expression can be equated to the derivative value at the point u, v. In other words, minus u over square root 3025 minus u squared, the derivative obtained in the previous question. And this equation can be solved using our class pad to locate the coordinates of P2. gives a value to two decimal places of 13.00. The coordinates of V can be found by substituting this value back into the expression for the height. Giving us a V value of 118.44 Part G. With the information about the point P2 determined, we can calculate the value of alpha. We know that the height of P2 is 118.44 and the gap between the origin and P2 horizontally is 13 units, hence the tangent ratio involving alpha is tan alpha equals 118.44 divided by 500 minus 13. giving an alpha value of 13.67 degrees. Part H. If we join the line C to B, we know that the, the capsule is visible from the boat in this segment here. Between when it becomes visible and it becomes invisible again. To determine how long the capsule spends in this segment, we'd like to know the angle BCP2. Using that triangle, we can see that the angle BCP2 is equal to 180, the degrees in a triangle, minus 90, the right angle at point P2, minus alpha minus theta, which is the angle in the corner of the triangle at point B. Using the values provi provided previously, this can be calculated.
the time corresponding to this part of the journey can be computed as 83.74 degrees out of a 360 degree revolution multiplied by a period of 30 minutes. giving us a time in minutes to the nearest minute of seven.